Hello, we're back. Um, so today, we are going to try the impossible. Well, maybe not the impossible, but we're going to drive as Bobby Labonte because I like Bobby Labonte, and the scheme is in the game, so why not? Um, we are going to race in the Daytona 500 and try to get Corey LaJoy, the Daytona 500 win. And you may be thinking, what? What? Why would you try and get him to win? Well, because I used to have this idea in my head uh, back in the day when I would do career modes in the older games where I would uh, want to have other drivers, like my favorite real-life drivers, do well in races. And so it used to always be Michael Waltrip. And so I would, I would try to make Michael Waltrip get as far as he could in like the playoffs and, you know, everything else, uh, the Nextel Cup championship and all that stuff. And so one of the drivers I could think of that is, you know, likable and uh, usually ends up running in the back is Corey LaJoy. We're going to try to get him the Daytona 500 win in this video. Now I realize in real life um, it's more possible than ever before for these cars to you know get a win. I mean look what happened with Michael McDowell. I mean his whole team's gotten better but still you know what I mean. Are you kidding me? Car right. Clear, clear. Caution. Watch the lights. Pit road is closed. Three wide. Two outside. Stay left. One left. All clear. Still in. All right. Pits are closed. Three wide. Two outside. Stay left. Definitely not helping Ty Dillon, that's for sure. All clear. Got one right. Still next to you. Especially when he wrecks me. Clear, clear, clear. He must have heard me. Went to 33rd and I still have not found Corey LaJoy yet. Maybe he doesn't need my help after all. BJ McLeod. Of the Clan McLeod. Maybe I should help him win for the sweet Highlander reference. I don't want to help Ryan Newman either. He could win on his own, but I also just don't really like him as a driver, or... I don't know, he's... I, I see him as a bully still. I know everybody's kind of soft on him now after the big Daytona crash, which I get it. I could have backed out right there, but I decided to force my way forward. Which apparently was a bad idea. I hate this game so much. Just go. Just go. I should not have to go through that much crap just to restart a race. I remember it it seems like back in the day it used to be like two clicks of a button and your race is restarted within two seconds. But now it's like, oh we have to go back into the garage uh, pit road scene, we have to look at this stupid tablet, we have to look at our stupid crew chief, and we have to press a stupid button, then we have to go back to the track, then we have to press another, another button to change our view back. I'm probably going to cut a lot of these out. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm just, like, that bad. This is, like, my tenth attempt. I can't even make it past, like, lap two or three. Alright, well, I made it past lap two. That's a good sign. That's, uh, finally something positive. Everybody just slowed up. Can I at least save this? Why? Got one right. Clear, clear, clear. Car right. I'm barely hanging on here, Cole Custer, and you choose to cut clear, down in front clear, of me. Clear. It's not a good Only idea. A I swear. He's just outside. gonna say, Oh, that's Corey LaJoy. Okay. All clear. <laughs> All clear. He sounded so calm when he said that. It's like, poof, relieved. Alright. Truex, no. This guy's mine. 
I don't care if you're drafting partners. He has a new drafting partner. Maybe. If I don't get wrecked before then. This could be dangerous. I'm trying to get up in front of Truex. Only a few laps till we pit. All right, well, maybe if I push Truex. Okay, well, that wasn't what I meant to do, but that works. All right, Ashwagandha. You were the...